So I've run the functional connectivity analysis, and now we would like to convert them into z-scores. This last step is short, but it is relatively important. The idea is when we have a series of correlation coefficients that we've generated, usually they are slightly skewed. That's just the nature of correlation coefficients. But if we convert them to z-scores, then they are approximately more normal, and then they conform more to the assumption of normality that we usually deal with with things like t-tests and ANOVAs. So all we can do here is use 3D calc to do this transformation. For A, I'm going to make that variable be this data set that we just created. So course subject 01 plus TLRC, and then expression is going to be log, and it's 1 plus A, or our Z map, and then we're going to divide that by 1 minus A. And this whole thing is going to be multiplied by 0.5, or 1 half. Okay, and the prefix here, let's call that subject 01Z plus TLRC. Yeah. There we go. And now that we have that, let's take a look at what this looks like. For the underlay, let's set it to our anatomical and make sure it's in Telluric view. For the overlay, let's look at this subject Z map that we just generated. Make sure overlay is on, and let's drop this slider back down to about 0.3 we had before. Okay, so it looks very similar to what we had before. Uh, again, very high amount of correlation or very high z-score near the seed region that we selected and also on the other side of the brain as well. The values that you'll see are also very similar if we go back to this correlation map. Okay, they're not radically different. There's a change, but all we've done is made them more normal in their distribution. So that's all there is to it. Uh, the same procedure and the same concepts can be applied to any transformation of R values into Z-scores.